The sun is awesome. It lights up our world, feeds the plants, helps us make vitamin D, can make us beautiful with an S bronze tan, and of course it does a ton of other amazing things, but it's not perfect. It can also cause sunburns, aging, saggy skin, and many types of skin cancers. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the different types of sunlight, how they cause cancer, and how and what to protect yourself with. The sun releases many wavelengths or energies of light. The light that reaches the ground is about 53% infrared, 43% visible, and 4% higher energy ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light has the ability to penetrate your skin and cause DNA damage. The types of ultraviolet light can be broken up into three groups based on their wavelength. The Earth's atmosphere absorbs almost all of ultraviolet C, or UVC, so it does not cause much damage to people. Much of the UVB light is blocked by Earth's atmosphere, but some does end up reaching the ground. UVB can also be blocked blocked by sunscreen and glass, surprisingly. And the UVA is not blocked at all, so it can be damaging all year round at any time during the day. Your skin is an amazing organ and does its absolute best to protect you from the sun with a fancy little protein called melanin. It's in your skin and absorbs both UVB and UVA light. Having a lot of the protein makes you look darker. Your genetics define how much melanin is standard in your body and or you can make it. When UVB light hits your skin, it only makes it through the upper layer, but it still causes direct DNA damage. So your body tries to protect itself by producing more melanin, though it can take a few days for the melanin to be produced and actually make you look tanner. UVA light is quite a bit different. It's higher energy, passes through the atmosphere, and penetrates your skin even deeper. Your skin releases stored melanin when UVA light hits your skin, so it protects itself pretty darn fast. But UVB is what causes long-lasting tans. UVA also doesn't cause direct DNA damage. Instead, it causes the formation of reactive oxygen, which in turn then causes DNA damage. Any DNA damage could lead to cancer, but your body has a lot of safeguards and repair mechanisms to hopefully fix any issues with your cells. You only get cancer cancer when enough cancerous cells pass through all of these safeguards. So how do you protect yourself from the seemingly deadly cancer causing sun? You can stay inside, wear more clothes, and sunscreen. Yeah, you knew it was coming. The SPF rating on the sunscreen will tell you how much it protects you. If you would normally burn after only 3 minutes in the sun, then an SPF 15 will allow you to be in the sun for 45 minutes without burning. SPF 50, 150 minutes. Even lower numbers protect you quite a bit. Most people don't need anything more than a 15 and maybe a 30. But also keep in mind that you're supposed to apply every 2 hours, and even more if sweaty or swimming. Sadly, the SPF rating only protects against UVB light, but some sunscreens will put additional chemicals that will help absorb the UVA light as well. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about the sun, cancers, and how to protect yourself just a little bit better. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.